Tens of thousands of refugees are hoping to enter Turkey this morning after a big shift in the Syrian civil war. Government troops have nearly surrounded rebels in Aleppo in northwestern Syria, where Russian airstrikes have tipped the balance. Ali Williams is along the Syrian border in Kilis, Turkey, near where the refugees are massing. Ali, good morning. Good morning. Syrian regime forces advanced yesterday to less than 20 miles from here. On the other side of this border are around 30,000 Syrian refugees who have fled the fighting. And now there are fears that hundreds of thousands of civilians in Aleppo could also be forced from their homes. They ran for the border with their children and a few belongings, desperate to cross into safety. We have the planes over us, we have the rockets over us. We're dying, said this woman. It's been five years of living under bombs. Russian air power has allowed Syria's regime forces to advance dramatically, helped by their ally, Iran, on the ground. The regime has already captured several strategically key towns and now looks close to taking Aleppo, Syria's biggest city before the war began. We can't independently verify these videos, but they appear to show the death and devastation caused by airstrikes. Mohammed Eid Hussein Al Ahmed is a spokesman for a Syrian rebel group that's trying to hold off the regime in Aleppo. He told us his group has received weapons from the US. But that wasn't enough to protect their main supply route, which they've now lost to the regime. The Russian warplanes are much more sophisticated and modern than the Syrian ones, he told us. They're targeting civilians to try to force them to leave the country. If the Syrian rebels are completely defeated, that would leave most of Syria in the hands of either ISIS or the regime, which has indiscriminately bombed its own people. Nora. Really disturbing. Holly Williams on the Turkey-Syria border. Thank you.